let's take another look at acid catalyzed ring opening of an epoxide. So if you have this epoxide here and you're trying to open this with a uh, catalytic sulfuric acid and ethanol, hopefully you know that your product will look something like this where you'll attack at the tertiary carbon since it can better stabilize a carbocation and this will be your product. So this will be your product of the reaction. But what's actually happening here is why do we use H2SO4 as a catalyst? And what actually happens when we use sulfuric acid as a catalyst? So, so if we use H2SO4 and we have ethanol in our mixture, we're going to have some kind of equilibrium. So we'll, we'll, we'll look at that in greater detail where we should generate a sulfate anion plus this, protonated ethanol. So we'll have protonated ethanol. And this is what actually is our acid in our mechanism. So this is what we use in our mechanism is protonated ethanol, okay? We're not going to use sulfuric acid in there. And why do we not use sulfuric acid in our mechanism? Because if you take a look at the pKa's of these two acids, here's our first acid, sulfuric acid. Here's our other acid, protonated ethanol. The pKa of sulfuric acid is minus 9, and the pKa of protonated ethanol is minus 2.4. The difference between minus 9 and minus 2.4 is about 7 units, about 6.6, .6, but let's just say it's about 7 units. What that means is that sulfuric acid is 10 to the 7 times stronger than protonated ethanol. That means it's about 10 million times stronger than protonated ethanol. And if you remember from acid-base equilibria, when we look at the strength of acids, what's going to happen is that the equilibrium is going to want to lie to the side of the weakest acid. So that means for every 10 million molecules of protonated ethanol, we have only one molecule of sulfuric acid. So our, our equilibrium is going to lie way to the right. So that means we're going to have way more of our protonated ethanol. And it's the one that's going to, it's the species that's going to behave as the acid in our reaction mechanism. So let's take a look at the mechanics of that. Well, how do we actually draw that? And I think that there's a little bit of confusion as to how we draw these things. So since we know, since we, oops, since we know that protonated ethanol, this is our acid. This is the main acid that's going to be doing the chemistry, so I'll just write that as the acid. So, without drawing out the equilibrium and the mechanism of how you make protonated ethanol, hopefully you can do that. If we just take a look at the mechanism, what should happen at the end of our mechanism is that we should end up with our protonated ethanol at the end. We should end up with this molecule in the end, and we should end up with this, our product, in the end. So let's see what happens when we draw this mechanism out. So, we start over with our epoxide, so I'm going to draw this quickly. So what's actually doing the protonating is our acid that's generated from sulfuric acid and ethanol, which is our protonated ethanol. So look, we're going to regenerate ethanol, and we're going to generate a super reactive protonated epoxide. So this is very highly reactive. And look what else we have. We have ethanol, just regular old ethanol that we generated from by deprotonating it. Oops. So, now we have ethanol in the solution. So I'm going to redraw the ethanol, just so it's a little bit clearer. So we have ethanol in our solution. So it's going to attack at that carbon, the tertiary carbon, because it can better stabilize a carbocation. So we end up with this. And now we have our protonated, or ethanol where our oxygen has a positive charge on it. But remember, there's way more protonated ethanol and ethanol in the solution than there is sulfuric acid. So who's going to remove this proton? What's going to remove that proton is another molecule of ethanol because we need to regenerate protonated ethanol in the end. That's what we should have at the end. We should have a product and we should have protonated ethanol. So look, if one molecule of ethanol removes that proton, what do we have in the end? We have our product, our ethoxy group, and we've regenerated our acid, which is protonated ethanol. So we have everything that we're supposed to. So this is why we draw the mechanism with protonated ethanol, because it's a much weaker acid than sulfuric acid. Therefore, the equilibrium will lie to the side 
of the weakest acid and looky looky in the end we generate our product and we gener regenerate our acid. So the sulfuric acid is only used as a catalyst to generate the protonated ethanol and it keeps generating it over and over and over and that is how the mechanism proceeds.